Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today, look over my shoulder. Holy moly, middle of November, beautiful, perfect day. So we are going to try to get through these beehives today while we, uh, we are blessed with this wonderful weather. It's 61 degrees right now. I think the high today is set for 69. Uh, so the bottom line is that we are going to take advantage of it. And I'm going to try to finish going through the front row of hives. So let me get my gear on, my smoker lit, and, uh, and we'll get started. All right, so today I thought I would start on this side. I know that the green hive is going to be mean, so we'll hit the green hive last. We're going to start with the sage hive. I guess this is kind of where we left off last time. We'll hit sage, then we'll hit the purple hive. Might hit blue and white, but we'll definitely hit the green green hive. We're going to definitely get through the, uh, the bee barns today on this gorgeous, gorgeous day. I'm putting my gloves on. If you haven't seen this day, I mean, you saw it in the opening, but... Here, have a look really quick while I put my gloves on. It is just beautiful. All right. So now, the question is, can we get through these hives today without getting stung? So, so I've added some, some dry pollen sub to their landing boards all the way across the front and all the way across the back. So they all have something right outside their door to keep them busy. And I think when I get out of each hive, I'll throw a handful of it on the frame just to make sure that they have something. They can clean it up and uh, use it as they will. I don't want to put a pollen patty in here because, well, I mean, you know my situation with beetles. And I have seen some beetles in these hives. And because I heat the hives, the beetles get to live all, all winter long as well. So the goal is to feed the bees and not the beetles. Okay, let's see here. I'm dry as a bone. I love it. I love it. Now, I've had some people ask me in the comments, what kind of tape do I use? Well, to be honest with you, it's the cheapest two-inch masking tape that I can find at Ace Hardware when I'm at Ace Hardware. I don't know whether you have an Ace Hardware up north. Um, we have them all over the south, and those are my favorite stores on the planet. I mean, I'll go into Lowe's and Home Depot if I, if I have to. But for the most part, I like to do my hardware shopping, nuts, bolts, screws, things, odds and ends. I like to hit Ace Hardware. That's, uh, that is my store of choice. And uh, usually I'll use the 3M tape if the Ace Hardware store brand isn't available, which is the blue or the white two inch masking tape. It does a good job. You just wanna make sure you pick it off in the springtime because if you leave it go in the summertime, then the, the tape will just stick on there forever. It's a, well, not, not forever, but it's gonna be a while to get rid of it. It'll be tough to take off. And sometimes beekeeping is hard enough. We don't want to add anything else to it. Let's have a look here. Come on, girls. Now we're going to do the same thing with this hive as we were going to do with Juno and the Crynoch bees. And that is if they, if they don't have any stores left up here, I'm going to remove this box. Um, but the girls in the, in the, Juno Hive actually were working on moving the stores down into the uh, into the bee barn itself. Uh, the Crynoch bees, the last time we were in there, they had th that top box is just slapped full of honey as well as the frames below. So there you go. The goal today is to remove the ape of our strip and find the queen if we can, but if not, at least at least evidence that she is laying in there. Hi bees. Bees on this frame, this frame, this frame. This side looks pretty devoid of bees. I think everybody else is downstairs. Hello, ladies. All right, there we go. Hello. Okay, so the goal here also to remove the ape of our strips. Go ahead and do that now. Ooh, I don't want to roll anybody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let go of the ape of our strips. There we go. There we go. Let's set those on the ground. I will come and pick those up later. Now let's look and see if we can find any brood. Any brood at all will be nice. Slow and steady is the key. All right, 
right, very, very heavy frame. Nothing but honey on the back side here. Let's see what we have on the front side. Nothing but honey on the front side. It's all capped. The bottom still is not uh, drawn out. I think when I make my next two bee barns, I'm not going to just use, uh, I'm not going to use just plain old acorn foundation. I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to use the acorn foundation or whatever foundation I have. But I'm going to put two or three coats of wax on it. Um, the bees just never seem to take to it. Unless I, uh, unless I pre-wax it and I was in such a big hurry this year to, to get these bee barns done because I was so excited about them that I, uh, I didn't, uh, ooh, pulling honey apart there. I didn't wax the, uh, the bottom frames. Now some of them the bees have taken to, but others they have not. All right, this is a very heavy frame, holy moly. Okay, we have nectar on top and bottom back here. I don't see any brood and I do not see a queen. And we have nectar on the top and bottom here. The bottom, it is not capped. The top, it is. And I do not see the queen or any capped brood on here. I'm very, very concerned. Oh, there's some brood. We have some brood back here on the back. I don't know what I see on the front. You know, you know before I do. I'm going to look for the queen back here. Now she should be marked. We do have brood on this frame. And I do not see the queen back here. And if the queen is on here, I will never see her. There are a million bees on here. I mean, that's just nuts. Just nuts. But I will show you. We have brood all right here, covered in bees. It comes up into here, down into here, and it's the same thing on the other side. On the other side, kind of looks like the North America going down into South America. We have Chile down here. We have Mexico right there. I don't see Florida. Florida fell off. There's California. Oregon, you know, we have uh, we have half the country there. Wyoming, might have seen Nebraska in there. Oh, there's the queen. There she is. She's right there, on the bottom edge of this frame, right there. So we're gonna go ahead and put this away really quick. Leave the queen down there doing her thing. Not even going to inspect that. I don't want her flying away, getting away outside here and I'm going to throw this entire frame of drawn yet not laid comb right beside her. Maybe she'll get some ideas and fill that up. I'm going to do something controversial because it's it's kind of the way I roll. I'm going to get a handful of uh, pollen sub and just kind of sprinkle it over the top. There we go. There you go, girls. There you go. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thanks for uh, thanks for letting me intrude. All right. There's the hive pillow. That should uh, keep your moisture at bay if you have any, and your lid. Going to give these girls just a little taste of happiness here. There you go. Have some of that. Take that down to your queen. You ladies have a great, great holiday. So, in case you're wondering, and you and you you may not be. I mean, but I would be wondering if I was I was sitting at home watching this. You may be wondering why I'm giving them Thanksgiving dinner. Well, because for me, Thanksgiving's tomorrow. It's not Thanksgiving yet. You're probably watching this video um, sometime in December. 
but right now, right now it's it's still still coming up on the holidays for me and, and the bees. So it is appropriate for me to be giving them their, their own little feast. I've got a present for you. I come bearing gifts. Yummy. There you go. All right, so now Juno, you get some too. Bug farmer bearing gifts. There you go. There you go. There you go. Enjoy. Now I've got a got a guard on me. Hey guard, do you not realize what I just gave you? I just gave you, well we're gonna call it life. There you go, I just gave you some life for your hive, a little bit of mana. Hello. I'm going to be picking these ape of our strips up as we go. Hello ladies. Here we go, nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go, nice and easy. There we go. There you go. Now, let me give you some happiness here. You get some too. There you go. There you go. All right, ladies. There you go. Let me get you an extra cork, seeing how I took your pillow. See, this is something else that I do to control moisture. Um, I have corks drilled. I think these are three quarter inch. I'm not sure what number cork this is, but it's a three quarter inch cork. And uh, I can add or remove corks at will to increase or, or decrease the ventilation um, during the summer and the winter and the spring and the fall. It's wonderful. But uh, there you go. No upper ventil ventilation for you tonight. And let's, uh, let's move over here to the white hive. There we go. Here you go. I'm going to give you a present. I'm going to give you a present now. Here you go. Here you go. Give me some bees. I want a strong hive in the spring. Strong hive. I want you to think strong hive. Lots of babies. Here you go. In just three months from now, there's going to be a whole field of pear trees and strawberries and blueberry bushes. And you're going to be the first girls out there getting them. Here you go. Excellent. We'll put that in here. This girl's in good shape. All right, now that we've done that, you know what? We'll do the green hive another day. The sun's getting low in the sky. It's uh, it's time to it's time to pack up. But uh, but we'll do the green hive another day. We'll just do a full inspection. We'll make that its own video because that hive is that hive's hot and it's mean. And this time of year, it's it's going to be really mean. Um, I think it might be nice. It might be nice tomorrow morning. I think tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow for me again is Thanksgiving. And I think it's supposed to be nice in the first part of the day and uh, and rainy and, and crappy and the, the cold weather comes back the second half of the day. Um, but if it's nice, we will uh, we will jump in there and take care of the green hive. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. We, we gave all these girls treats. I'm going to end it today, but I will give the green hive and the red hive some some pollen sub tomorrow and then uh, they will be in the same place as the rest of them are with resources so everything should be good anyways if you like this video do me a favor give me a thumbs up if you have something to say by all means please comment and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do me a favor take a moment hit the subscribe button ring the bell to be notified of my new content i try to drop a video every friday we try to keep it light and have fun and we try to do things different and innovate any chance we get um, but with all that said be happy I will see you next week. Take care.